What's up, y'all? Today I'm talking about UMG. I got the glasses off and everything for this one. All of my favorite YouTubers have been getting striked by these guys, and they're claiming that they own 100% of everybody's video now. And apparently, YouTube is totally cool with this. So there's absolutely no recourse, and all of the hundreds and hundreds of hours that have gone into everybody making these videos is basically all that money's going to UMG now. So what the heck is Universal Music Group all about? Well, they're the largest music company in the world. They own pretty much all the catalogs to all of the greatest pop music, rock music, hip hop music, pretty much everything. All the Beatles catalog, they don't do artist development, they don't do marketing, they say they do, but they don't really. Uh, they don't really do anything. They're like this evil, greedy, corrupt library. So what's going on with this board behind me? So first I've got my uh, artistic interpretation of what I assume uh, their company logo is. And then I've got all this stuff over here. I've got some dollar signs going who knows where. So first up top here, I have traffic assignment and copyright claims. Now in my opinion, these two go hand in hand. Now I don't have proof that UMG is engaging in traffic assignment, but I do have proof that they're engaging in copyright claims, false copyright claims, I might add. Uh, and in, in my opinion, these two kind of go hand in hand. So what is traffic assignment first? You'll see it on every news article that you read. Five ways to lose body fat without actually losing body fat. Eight musical icons that went broke because all of their catalog is owned by UMG. You know, those little side website, those little links on the side, right? Long story short, all of those clicks get assigned to the news website that you started with even though they don't actually own that side website so it's kind of sneaky right it's sort of like uh, buying views buying followers for Instagram completely illegitimate but it's the only way these news companies can survive in the modern day what does that have to do with copyright claims well I think it's kind of uh, UMG's way of engaging in this same kind of practice you see because they can take a YouTube video that they don't own and they can basically redirect those views and that ad revenue back to UMG even though they had nothing to do with generating those views and that ad revenue just like the news companies are redirecting clicks that were never actually clicked on their website. We come down here to artist relations. How do they treat their artists? What do their artists think of them? And last but not least relevance and I think this is the sort of pin in this whole entire argument that I'm making here. So in my opinion UMG completely irrelevant. People don't get their music from guys like this anymore. And so my argument is, I think UMG is going broke. Somebody has to stand up and say something about this. Somebody has to out these guys. So we're getting ready to expose UMG for the frauds that they are. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna try and make this quick because I know y'all got things to do. I'm not gonna spend the whole time on Wikipedia, but I am gonna spend the time on some of these sources. So just a little recap of uh, some of the stuff they've gone through recently and not so recently. Uh, so they've used illegal marketing agreements such as minimum advertised pricing to artificially inflate prices of CDs. They've colluded and, and had all kind of weird agreements with uh, you know uh, radio stations and YouTube abusing the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Old Guard music industry ended up losing more money than they could have possibly made because they, they, they looked at the internet as like an adversary, as if one company or two companies can like fight the internet. Totally ridiculous. This is the CASE Act, all right? CASE Act is an acronym for the Copyright Alternative in Small Claims Enforcement Act. This would create a three-judge tribunal where they would handle small copyright claims. You can probably see that large companies like UMG are going to be opposing this staunchly and doing everything in their power and in investing all of their billions, quote unquote, uh, to make sure that this does not happen. There are a few groups that oppose the bill. Each of these groups have two things in common. They are supported primarily by Google, as UMG is, and they oppose any bill that would help creators and improve the copyright law. And so this would give somebody an opportunity to actually make an argument that they actually own the art that they created. Wow, what a novel idea. So this is an interesting article here about DIY artists. DIY artists will earn more than $1 billion this year. 
No wonder the major labels want their business. And again, keep in mind, UMG does not help these artists make more money. All they do is take money from the sum of money that they've already generated. They view them as competition. All you guys on YouTube making uh, cover songs and making uh, you know music lessons and educational videos, you're basically like Universal Music Group's worst enemy, and they hate you. And they're gonna do anything in their power to take you down and take all of your money, all of your content, and claim it as theirs. This also goes for Sony and Warner. Really, seriously take this to heart. Publishing. Every DIY artist who writes their own music will be due 100% of publishing royalties. Okay, so TuneCore, CD Baby, you guys get 100%. Now, do you still want to sign that deal with Universal where they're going to take half of your money? I think not. So I'm going to keep it moving quickly along here. I think you know where I'm going with this, guys. Universal Music lost money in 2014. Well, what happened here? Financial details released by UMG Parent across all of its many sub-labels and publishing entities, they saw revenues slump 5.6% last year. Still uh, quite a few billions of dollars here, but in my opinion, that's uh, probably a lot of fuzzy math going into that. Do you really think Ariana Grande would be working at a Burger King if it wasn't for this multi-billion dollar company, as if they even care about Ariana Grande at all? Next up, uh, just proof that uh, UMG is engaging in backroom deals. Instead of figuring out how to monetize file sharing and peer-to-peer, -peer, what they did was they declared war. Really smart, guys. That's why you have to claim YouTube revenue and steal, you know, $10, $20 from some nobody YouTuber in order to make those billions. So basically what they're arguing is, if we say it should be taken down, then nobody or their mama can stop us. In fact, uh, the takedown is not even governed by DMCA. It has nothing to do with it. The takedown was sent pursuant to the UMG YouTube agreement, which we have absolutely no specifics on. Their powers to take things down is not even limited to copyright infringement. If you infringe their copyright, you're done. If you didn't infringe their copyright, and they just don't like you for whatever reason, you're still done. Not only that, but then you have YouTube straight up lying to Ars Technica in order to protect these guys saying, our partners do not have the right to take down videos unless they own the rights, blah, 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 blah. Bold faced lie. Well, if that's true, then why don't we see the exact text of your agreement? All right, here we go. We got the Daily Mail music executive who stole $650,000 from record label giant. The con only came to light when Schweier was promoted and his successor raised the alarm after noticing scores of invoices paid to non-existent companies. How many different offices, how many different buildings and partners and subsidiaries does this company have? And one guy gets caught? I'd venture to say if there's one guy doing this, they're probably all doing it. Eminem, 50 Cent, Jennifer Lopez. Are these artists really only successful because of UMG? Well, actually, this proves that they would be more successful without UMG stealing money from their own artists. Jesus Christ. But you know, the executive was in poor health. You know, he had Graves' disease and it left him with impaired judgment. So he's actually the victim here. So this is the last article I got and this kind of sums it all up. Uh, the 2018 success for UMG, okay? This is where uh, I guess they get most of their money from. And guess what? The Beatles were the fourth best seller. They're still selling old Beatles box sets in stores or on websites or, or whatever. This company is old, guys. You really think that many people are buying Beatles box sets, greatest hits? Streaming cannot yet match CD era album revenue metrics and they're trying to they're really trying to they're lying through their teeth they're trying to convince everybody that they're still making money they're still at the top of their game these big companies are going to be gone sooner than later because of this and so just to wrap all this up here this company is irrelevant they're part of this old guard music industry they're not real their numbers aren't real they're being inflated they're using traffic assignment they're stealing money from young artists that didn't ask for this. Here's Adam Neely, what I want to teach but can't, thanks to Universal Music Group. YouTube copyright claimed my voice, what's going on? My whole channel got copyright claimed. So I keep seeing these videos pop up, video after video after video. 
you know, oh, we discussed the need for copyright exceptions for intellectual content to allow creators to be, you know, exempt from the stealing nature of these big companies. You know, oh, here's a link to Rick Beato's video. This really makes life difficult for my job as a music teacher. What I don't get is, why are these guys so freaking polite? Critiquing the company, Universal Music Group sucks, a boo-hoo. It's like, oh, I'm gonna make a video saying why I'm kind of upset about this and I wish that things would change. But you know what? Nothing's ever gonna change. Everybody's too nice about this stuff. I don't know if they're scared that they're gonna get taken down or they're gonna get their channel shut down or something. You know what? I'm not that worried about that. I'm a nobody. I'm a little YouTuber. If they shut me down, not a huge loss for me. But you know, something might change if these huge artists start canceling their contracts and go independent. Start keeping 100% of their money. We gotta hit them right where it hurts, right in their bank account. If you got your YouTube video, it's getting claimed, it's getting struck down by these guys, guess what? Upload it another 100 times. Or delete it completely and totally deprive them from that ad revenue. Whatever's worse for them. You know why? Because they made the first move against YouTubers. They should be hitting y'all up and offering you guys record deals and figuring out how to get your career to the next level like they claim to do. But let me know what y'all think. Have you been copyright struck by these guys? Have they gotten at you? Do you have a record deal? Is it owned by UMG? Are you in a position to actually do something about this instead of just making mildly annoyed videos on YouTube which they're gonna claim and take your money from anyway? It's like, what can we even do? Think outside the box. Let me know in the comments down below. How can we get even with these guys? Because I was always taught, don't get mad, get even. But I think if we can all come together here and stand up for the little guy, that's how we're going to make the money.